For nearly 50 years, Voyager 2 has been drifting farther and farther from Earth, venturing beyond the reach of our sun and the familiarity of known science. It was never designed to last this long, yet it continues to send faint signals from the vast emptiness of space. But recently, that signal carried something unexpected. When NASA decoded its latest transmission, contents didn't just surprise the agency, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community. What they discovered seemed impossible, a signature no one anticipated, and a reality we may not yet be ready to face. What exactly did Voyager 2 uncover? How does it defy our current understanding of the solar system's boundary? Why are you some scientists calling it the most haunting discovery ever made in space. Voyager 2's very existence is improbable. Its journey was only made possible by a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years. During that moment in the 1960s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were aligned like pearls strung across an invisible arc. A part-time NASA employee, using nothing more than a pencil, charted the orbital paths by hand. His calculations enabled engineers to use the gravity of each planet to slingshot Voyager 2 out toward the edge of the solar system, accelerating it faster and farther than anything humans had ever launched. Built with just 69 kilobytes of memory less than the electronic key fob that opens a car and transmitting with the power of a refrigerator light bulb. Voyager 2 was never meant to enter interstellar space. Yet, 46 years later, it's still out there billions of miles away, whispering through the void. And now, it has whispered something strange. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind yields to the pressure of interstellar space, it followed its twin, Voyager 1, which made the crossing in 2012. But what Voyager 2 discovered at that threshold defied all predictions. Scientists expected dramatic shifts in radiation, magnetic fields, and plasma flow. While the spacecraft did register a significant spike in plasma density confirming it had entered, interstellar space, the anticipated change in magnetic orientation never occurred. The magnetic field remained mysteriously unchanged, just as it had for Voyager 1. It was like walking into a completely new room, only to find the walls painted exactly the same. That isn't how physics is supposed to work unless we were wrong about the very shape of the room itself for decades. Scientists believe the heliosphere sun's magnetic bubble formed a distinct boundary that shielded our solar system. From the chaotic galactic environment beyond, Voyager 2's data now challenges that belief. The boundary, it appears, is not sharp or well-defined. Instead, it's a turbulent, fluctuating frontier filled with contradictions. Voyager 2 didn't find silence beyond the sun's reach, it found strange variations ghost-like pulses of cosmic rays, and plasma fluctuations that don't correspond to the sun's known 11-year activity cycle. It's as if the spacecraft entered a liminal zona magnetic twilight realm, and then came something even more extraordinary, Voyager's instruments. Detected a region of stable plasma and rising galactic radiation without any corresponding shift in the magnetic field, something that should be impossible according to two. Established physics unless, of course, there's something interfering with or obscuring our understanding. Something larger. Something we're only now beginning to glimpse. But perhaps the most astonishing part isn't what Voyager 2 found, but how it found it. Operating with half-century-old computers, no artificial intelligence, and heat-powered plutonium generators that lose 4 watts of power every year, Voyager 2 continues to function in deep space temperatures it was never built to endure. Engineers have already shut off essential systems like the heater for the cosmic ray detector to conserve energy. Everyone assumed the instrument would freeze and stop working. Instead, it kept going pushing past its thermal limits, as if refusing. To die before completing its final mission? Now only five instruments remain active. By 2030, that number may fall to zero. But before the silence comes, Voyager 2 has delivered a discovery so precise so strange and so contrary to conventional logic that it may rewrite what we think we know about the edge of the solar system. But, because it turns out the edge isn't. The end. Before the Voyagers, scientists believed the heliosphere had a teardrop shape, the sun's influence trailing off behind it like the tail of a comet. 
But the data coming from Voyager 2 paints a very different picture. It reveals a chaotic, distorted boundary that fluctuates wildly and may not be shaped by the sun at all. Instead of a clean break between solar and interstellar space, Voyager. Two found overlapping zones of magnetic interference, sudden bursts of high-pressure plasma, and erratic radiation spikes. These features weren't supposed to exist. They don't fit any current model. It's like trying to measure the shape of a cloud with a ruler. Some physicists now suspect that the heliosphere is being twisted and reshaped by external galactic magnetic force stretched and compressed by interstellar winds we've never recorded. Voyager 2, now over 12 billion miles away, sending back the sobering truth. The sun's influence may not be as dominant as we once believed. And that revelation is more than surprising. It's deeply unsettling as Voyager 2 moves farther. From the sun's protective bubble, one thing becomes terrifyingly clear. Space is far more violent than we imagined. Galactic, cosmic rays, subatomic shrapnel hurled through space by ancient supernova are no longer filtered by the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is now directly exposed to them. The data is concerning. The radiation is not only more intense, it appears. Structured, periodic, patterned, the pulses suggest that cosmic rays may be interacting with unseen interstellar structures, perhaps dense plasma clouds, or even the ghostly remnants of dead stars. This raises a haunting question. If Voyagers, shielded, heat-powered systems are struggling to endure this environment, what chance would human biology have? These cosmic rays don't just degrade metal, they tear apart DNA, destabilize electronics, and remind us how fragile life is when confronted by the raw forces of the galaxy. Each Voyager carries a 12-inch gold-plated record containing music, id images, and greetings in 55 languages. It's been called Earth's Mixtape Humanity's Introduction, our last letter to the universe. But most people don't realize these records aren't merely symbolic. They're our only genuine attempt to reach something beyond ourselves. The discs carry Chuck Berry and Beethoven. Photos of children, scientific diagrams, and a message from President Jimmy Carter that reads, This record represents our hope and our determination and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. Now think about this. Voyager 2 has carried that message farther than anything else humans have ever made. And if something conscious or not is listening, it will hear not our weapons, not our science, but our music, our greetings, our memories of home. As Voyager's instruments begin to fail, that record will remain floating, waiting, echoing a species that once looked up and whispered hello. M. In its most recent transmission, Voyager 2 detected something that should not exist. While NASA has not officially released all the data, leaks from inside the agency suggest that one of the spacecraft's low-band instruments captured a brief, repeating signal a frequency spike that was not cosmic noise or plasma vibration. According to insiders, the signal was mathematically consistent. It lasted only 2.4 seconds. It didn't match any known modulation and wasn't traced to a solar or galactic source. Oh. And then silence. Officially, NASA dismissed it as a system. Error or a glitch from aging equipment. But some engineers privately disagreed. One even remarked it looked intentional. Not intelligent, but deliberate like something meant to be noticed. The signal has not repeated. But the fact that it happened, once recorded, archived, confirmed, has changed everything. Because if Voyager 2, with its dying power ancient, circuits and fading voice can still intercept something that breaks every rule of known physics, then what else have we missed simply because we weren't listening? Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a mirror. One we hurled into the cosmos not to reflect our image back, but to remind us of what it means to stretch beyond our limits. Everything about Voyager was improbable. It was built by hand, programmed in assembly language, operated by teams who have long since retired or passed away, yet it endures not because it's perfect, but because it's human. It embodies a moment in time when we explored not for profit, not for conquest, but for curiosity for the raw desire to know. And now, nearly five decades later, that same craft continues to ask questions no one else can. 
quietly, humbly, from a place no human has ever seen. Voyager transmits the conditions of interstellar space, the vibrations of distant plasma, the whispers of ancient starlight not because we told it to, because it still can. In doing so, Voyager 2 reminds us of something we've lost in our world of distraction and instant gratification. That the universe doesn't need to shout too. Be profound. That the most remarkable discoveries come not in explosions, but in echoes. Sometimes the smallest signal from the farthest place speaks more truth about us than all the noise here on Earth ever could. Voyager isn't just telling us about space. It's telling us about ourselves, what we've done, what we've left behind, and maybe, what we still have time to become.